Hello tubes. This is a lawnmower I got for free. I picked up. It was posted for free. There's no picture of it, but I went ahead and inquired about it since it was on the other side of town and I happened to have been in the you know like about 20 minutes or so from it. So I contacted the poster and then they said, oh yeah, it's still available. Uh, I, I told them I could be there in about an hour or so. And uh, they were like, okay. I came by and picked it up. It came with this flat side flap here. Another bag that doesn't fit this more, but it fits other ones. I said, okay. Um, what we got here is a Craftsman with a Kohler Courage engine on it. This is really a, a MTD deck. That's an MTD bag. I didn't know they put Kohler engines on MTD products, but uh, I guess back whenever this was made, they did. Um, here's the some of the specifics. Here's the model number 247.374320. I believe 247 prefix indicates MTD. Uh, the older ones, which are 917, is uh, Husqvarna or Husqvarna. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this and take a look. Just from what I've been able to tell is this is definitely going to be a carburetor clean. Maybe too much oil or that got turned on the wrong side. Really, uh, copy of a Honda. Um, just power washed it, looking it over. It doesn't start. Uh, I will show you. This is an auto show. It will not start. As you can see, it won't start. Um, just a couple things I've noticed just from so far is the wheel adjustment in the front will not stay at its adjusted place. Let's say I do that, this place, it won't stay. Probably need to bend this, but I can take care of that later. Um, now, to, to address the, it does have gas in it. It smell, it reeks of bad ethanol. Uh, it reeks of ethanol. And here is the filter. Didn't look so bad, it's a foam filter. I'll service that and put it back in. Um, now I just washed this, uh, I mean power washed this, just to get all the gunk and junk off of it. Not oh, gunk and junk, yeah. Anyway. You probably can't see, see that get you closer? And in here, see all that? That's, looks like, you see, that's what's there. It's either oil or ethanol or something, but it's not good. So this is definitely a carburetor clean. To get one of these off on these colors, I gotta save this over here. Let me get my parts tray, so to speak. It's an old cookie sheet. These are 10 mil bolts. Um, and we're going to take this off um, later, but uh, how I get to the carburetor. So, <laughs> breather comes off, and all the junk's there. So, what I typically do, see this has got junk on it, so I'm gonna spray some carburetor cleaner and then wipe it up. All gummy. It's not a gummy bear, don't eat it. Haha. <laughs> anyway. Get that cleaned up. Now what you see here let me uh, what you see here that's dried up ethanol or oil or both oh. gonna not clamp off the fuel lines with some vice grips here that's not take care of the gas tank later there we go Got it clamped off.
well, I've got the gas tank draining here. This isn't the optimal way of draining, but uh, into this old Folgers container. I'm gonna go take off the carburetor and clean it. So it smells bad. You know, I'll, I'll be able to see if there's water. The uh, getting more room. I take off the uh, starter recoil. Three 10 mil bolts, just like a Honda. The other side. Here's what your carburetor looks like and stuff. Okay, take the spark plug off. Right here, there is a 10 mil bolt as well that you need a wrench to get off. A box wrench, combination wrench or whatever because of where it is. Oh my gosh. Dudes. Oh my gosh. I just uh just saw this. Get this out of the way. What's this? That's a head bolt. The dang head bolts a good inch all the way out. That's a problem. And it's on the muffler side, which is, so I'm gonna go uh, tighten that up. Now, uh, probably a 12 mil. Oh my, hey tubes. Putting in this head bolt now. It was really loose. Okay, I have to torque it now. I don't know the specs for it, but all I know is it should be fairly tight. I do have a torque wrench, but uh, maybe I'll, I'll get that out later. Seems pretty tight. Check the other one. That one's got tight. that off. Now I can get this carburetor off. This is your um, heat sensor. It normally attaches the muffler. I just, I just uh, disconnect it at the muffler and take the whole thing off as a, as a whole individual piece. It just makes it easier. Now, over here, uh, here at the carburetor, pull it out. Try to at least here. Okay, take the rotate it and off come the linkages here. There's two of them, small one and a big one. Here we go. One and the spring. See if I can get it off. Here we go. Here we go. Time to clean this out. Look at this. All that junk. This is pretty bad. So looks like it looks like it probably sat a lot. So uh, time to clean it. I like to take the outside, clean the outside first. Some wire brushes. Be careful with this sensor. Uh, always support it. If you've taken it off this way, this is just the way I do it uh, most of the time. I'm going 
Now let's see. The choke, I mean the choke can be moved and the throttle plate, the throttle is stuck. Don't move. Hopefully um, this uh, carburetor cleaner will get it. Flathead screwdriver, let's see if I can get it to move. Yeah, it just came unstuck. It's really sticky though. I'm gonna have to continue spraying it. See, now it's moving. It should always move freely. This is what ethanol will do to it. It's probably clogged up up in there in the throttle plate. And the bottom. Woo. Okay, that's moving fully now. And let's see about the choke side. I wish I took a picture of this before. Well, maybe not. Maybe this is okay. Anyway, you should take a picture of this, how this is all set up before. And I took, I'm taking this video so I can go back and look. Now, clean up the air bleeds. Just use my fla uh, flashlight to see inside the carb. Uh, sometimes there's some holes inside the carburetor that you need to. I want the side here. You need to need to clean out. And I haven't even opened it yet. Now it's time to open. It's a 10 mil bolt. This is your drain bolt if you want to drain drain the carburetor. Um, pretty tight. Try not to mess up the bowl gasket. It should, it should come attached. Okay. Took the bowl gasket off. Let's set clean this bull nut off. This isn't one that has a jet pointed the wrong way. 10 millimeter bolt gets it off, opened it up, you tap this on the side with the screwdriver, and this is what the carburetor looks like. Let me get some light for you. You see? You see in there? So, carburetor cleaner, some wire brush, and some steel wool. Check with you later. Well, I've cleaned out the. Let me see. Got my headlamp on. Let me see if I got this. You see that? I got my headlamp on here. Got this. Uh, Mostly cleaned out now. I'm gonna sit here with my bag bowl. Now I'm gonna go clean out this carburetor, or this part of the carburetor. 
First thing you do, take the needle out. It sometimes gets ethanol. As uh, gummed it up, there it came out. So I'm gonna sit this down in the car we're looking here. See if it can uh, help it. Okay. Clean it off with some steel wool. Set this down there in the mag wool. Take the uh, carefully take the float off because the careful the needle is spring loaded. Here's the float with the needle full of, full of uh, ethanol, get damage. This was sitting probably. So I'm going to try to clean this out best I can. You don't need to see all that detail. Maybe just give you a little detail. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, spray some car cleaner in here, see if it comes out there. Do the same from this side. In here. Okay. This is to the point now where I get some wire, start poking and prying. Go through there. Uh, and now you need to get this uh, chunk off here. You get these um, brushes like these that come in a three pack, nylon, uh, wire, and uh, brass uh, at uh, you know dollar store, Harbor Freight, Walmart. Yeah, do a good job getting all the nooks and crannies in. If you don't have one, just use an old toothbrush. Just don't use it to brush your teeth again. That wouldn't be good. I'm trying to, I have a headlamp on, I'm trying to, uh, you know, keep, uh, light on this it's not it's late in the day here it's about 7 30 so there's not a lot of light and there's not a lot of good lighting in my garage okay. back on the float this is all gummed up so spray it the float with some carb spray. Try to avoid getting it on the needle. You might need a, a, a light brush, nylon brush here for this. You don't want to damage this. I don't, at least I don't have another one. Is it Briggs or Tecumseh? Yeah, I would, but I don't have many, I don't have many color brushes. I don't get them a lot, although I've been getting them a lot in lately. Especially the Kohler Courage. And there's a reason why the Kohler also makes toilets. Ha ha ha. Okay, I've wiped off the wiped off the the float, cleaned it pretty good, I think. Got 
most of the ethanol off of it. And here we go. And cleaned off the needle. It should be good to go. Now we gotta clean out the main jet. Main jets in here. But so let me take a look. It's pretty bad. I think I can save it though. I need to get my screwdriver. What you do to get the main jet out is a flat fed screwdriver. Um, so let me go get it. So much bad crud in here. I'm going to use my mini pick here to kind of get a lot of it out. If I had a replacement carb, I would just slap it on, but I don't. Got lucky it's coming out. See, now I've got gotten it loosened up in here. Okay, this is your main jet. Now it came out, and there should be a tubes I can't get this uh, the emulsion tube up but I got the important part this got out so this is completely block solid so what I'm going to do is take my carburetor cleaning kit which consists of uh, wires brushes um, q-tips and uh, drop any of it and, and try to clean it out. Here we go. This is a this is a twisty tie from uh, like a loaf of bread. So gonna try to run that through. See, it's just the right diameter to get in here and get into this jet to, to clean it out. You do that, and then
spray. Oh, I was cut off. You need to get this wire in these little holes here inside and then hit it with card spray. Okay, just put the main jet back in, screwed it in. There we go. Now I'm, gonna re I'm reassembling the car here. Okay. This is a maybe, this is about a 50-50 chance of this actually working out after cleaning, I think. You put the knee. Now, see how this is level? I wonder, I don't know. I think I might have to uh, make an adjustment. I've taken the pin out. I'm going to uh, clean where the where the spring was there. Clean where the spring the spring was. And also need to clean the spring. Because the spring was a little weak. I'm going to uh, stretch it out a little bit to make to try to give it some more spring into it. This has helped me in the past on some older coolers to keep it from leaking. This is what I suspect this one will do. Now I'm going to reassemble, put the needle back on, let's hope this works out well. Together and see if this is a little bit better. Forgot tubes. There's one more thing I need to clean up on this thing. this idle idle speed circuit you need to have a Phillips set here to get this out this is the idle adjustment screw unscrew it come out take your needle nose pliers there's a little jet here it pops you take some flathead here and you can pry it up a little bit and then take near those pliers and out it comes yeah this is pretty this has got some sediment spray it off um, there's a little jet in there, in, inside of there, uh, need to use a wire from a wire brush to get to it. In here, where it screws, where it goes into, need to spray in there. This is the idle idle jet. Just spray in there and hopefully that'll clean out whatever. So let's put this back. We'll need 
get one of those pliers to help you put it back in. It doesn't matter which way, just as long as this flat side is in there. In this idle adjustment screw. I don't know. I guess about how much it was. You can always change it later. This pushes on the throttle to set your idle. My camera died and I just charged it up a little bit. I've got this back to, you know, getting it back together. I can't get the gas cap, the gas uh, off. Um, I'm going to have to deal with just, just flat out draining it. Here's what what the gas can't what would the gas look like? What drained out? Uh, so I'm just gonna put it back together and hope for the best. I'm just getting kind of late here. I just got this all back together. Going to uh, see if this runs. Just filled it up with some fresh gas, seeing if there's any uh, any leaks. So far, I don't see any. Uh, I did have, to, I cut part off of the fuel filter off, but it was long enough still that I could still use it. I mean, fuel line. So let's give this uh, a whirl. It is getting a little late where I am, so I don't want to disturb the neighbors. Third hand in place, right here. Let's see. started great uh, I got a chance to oil in this and uh, then test it sharpen the blade too later tubes